Good morning and welcome to Money Wisdom, sponsored by Johnson Burnetti. I'm Natasha Lubchenko. Here with tips on smart ways to manage our money is Eric Hogarth, certified financial planner and Johnson Burnetti partner. Hey, Eric, thanks for joining us. Always great to see you. Great to see you. Good morning. All right, so college tuition seems to be going up and up each year. It can be daunting for students and parents, but what about grandparents? Is this a burden that they feel as well from your personal experience? Well, yeah, not necessarily burden, but it's certainly something that I talk with a lot of retirees or, or older retirees about something they want to do. You know, they want to they want to help their kids and their grandchildren, but they also want to make sure what they're doing is not actually hurting. So I think this is a, a timely and a good subject to talk about because college is so expensive. Yes, and it, it seems to keep going up every year. So let's talk about some ways grandparents can help. So nice of them to do that. Uh, this first one, you say gift tax education exclusion for tuition. So gift tax is specific to the amount of money that you would be giving someone. So to be clear, most people, this would not even be a factor. You know, if you're thinking of giving hundreds of dollars or even thousands of dollars, this wouldn't really impact you. But at higher thresholds, uh, if you want to give a lot, a lot of money and everyone's a lot of money is different, uh, there can actually be additional taxes owed. So you have to make sure that, that you're not getting hit by those. But if it's given for education, there's an exclusion on that. But if you don't give the money the right way, you actually pay even more taxes on it. Oh, wow. That's great to know. And now what about this one, Eric? You could donate to your grandchild's 529 plan. A 529, I won't go deep, deep into it. It's a wonderful program. It allows people, anyone, uh, for a friend, family member, parent, grandparent, to save money into uh, an investment plan specific for secondary education or some high school education too. But the money grows tax-free. And if it's used for that education or educational expense, there's no taxes owed. So that's a wonderful thing. So grandparents and parents alike should really look into that. And parents should start probably as soon as their children are born because it'll help a lot. Yeah, another great option there to be aware of. And now this is important for grandparents to know. You say they should understand that the help that they give may affect financial aid eligibility. Yeah, these are not conversations that parents are often having with their kids, right? The 70 year old is talking to their 30 or 40 year old child about their money. You know, that's uh, we talk about it all day, every day, but for the personal setting, maybe not something you talk about. But you need to understand that if you want to give money to your grandchildren, because actually giving them money the wrong way could exclude them from certain programs that maybe their parents are relying on or hoping for. So talk about it. And there's certain things that are excluded from that. So also talk to your advisor, your planner on it, because this is a subject that's really important, makes a huge difference, um, but can also hurt again if you do it the wrong way. Yeah. And this final one here actually may be a solution to that. Uh, you said that they can help the grandchild pay off loans after they graduate. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, it, this is so unique. You know, every family does it differently. I mean, I think about my own personal experience. My grandparents got savings bonds for me when they actually paid something in interest when I was little and for all my cousins. And I, I cashed in those savings bonds in college to pay for my books, which was unbelievable because, oh, my goodness, they cost so much money. Maybe they're read online these days, but who knows? I had to buy physical books when I was in college. Um, but you come out of school with all these loans a lot of times. And it's just, I mean, it's what a wonderful thing for someone to be able to help their family with. And of course, most people can't. But if you can, that can have a huge impact on their life. Um, Absolutely. So worth talking about. Yep, the gift of education is definitely a great and meaningful one. And, yeah. and if our viewers want to learn more about this today, I know you have an offer. Could you talk to us about it? Yeah. Um, like everything, you can get it at moneywisdomtv.com and we'll direct you to it. But it's a, uh, it's, it's a book, kind of a, a short thing, but it talks specifically about what can grandparents do to help, which of course is what they want to do without hurting, which of course is what they don't want to do. Um, so again, go to moneywisdomtv.com. Uh, it's free. We'll get it to you. And it talks all about just some information you would want to know before going down the path of, you know, are we going to look into this? Or are we not? And how do we go about doing it? So read it because I know a lot of people are, are hoping to help, and this will shed some light on how. All right, such an important topic and great tips. Eric Hogarth from Johnson Brunetti, thank you as always. And again, if you would like to learn more and to receive this offer, go to moneywisdomtv.com. For CT Style, I'm Natasha Lubchenko. Have a great day.